there's a hurdle that we are we could not connect with the students the face to face uh, due to the pandemic situation mm -hmm. anyway uh, we have uh, started getting connected uh, with these children remotely by using whatsapp and uh, uh, zoom meetings and all that and uh, how how we are continuing this project uh, now i request uh, vinay sir uh, tell something about our project uh, how is going on mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay i'm listening vinay are you there mr vinay Hello. Not have not joined uh, connected issue. Please uh, go on, sir. Please continue. I will. Let's uh, give a call to him. So go with your. Uh, shall we shall we, shall we wait for some more time? No no, uh, you start. Sir. Ask maybe your, you to start. Maybe you can start uh, talking about the yeah. project itself, and then when the number is enough, the the presenters can start their presentations. Yes. Okay. Or uh, Superman also has not joined, or we are waiting for him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So later we'll uh, uh, have a discussion at the end, and uh, uh, let uh, the presenter start this. Okay, wait, wait. Sir. So there are our super mentors, uh, Ms. Sampat, uh, Lakshman Vangara, and uh, Mamta Sadhu, and. Uh, Mm -hmm. Surendra Mohan, uh, there are four uh, super mentors. Uh, we have started this project uh, in the mid of uh, December. Mm -hmm. uh, we have started this project with uh, the uh, introduction of the expert talk Anderson webinar. Uh, after that, uh, we had uh, many webinars so far. Uh, our teachers have started the exploration. Uh, Almost all the teams have started this, and uh, we have uh, twelve teams in uh, actually. Each, in each team, uh, there are five to six teachers. Uh, so the mentors of this uh, project are uh, Salomi Snehalata, Kalyani, Roja Rani, and Banu Prakash Narendra Reddy, and uh, myself Vasanth Lata. Richard Ali and Srinivas Umarani and uh, Neela Madhavi and uh, Padmavati Ma'am. These are the teams that are working. We have already started the project. Uh, first round of presentations have already been completed. Our teachers have started uh, uh, working on it and uh, uh, research questions. They have already prepared the research questions and they have sent it to their uh, teachers, students, and uh, uh, colleagues and uh, other uh, even parents they had even face to face talk and uh, a remote talk with that they have all collected the data so far and uh, now uh, we have started uh, working together with the many meetings we have all planned and now uh, data data collection is almost completed and questionnaires for interview and questions have already completed. And most of the teachers, uh, teacher researchers have already uh, collected the evidences of data collected through Google mm -hmm. Forms and students' responses. And uh, even uh, responses from the friends, uh, even they made their audio recordings, interviews, uh, and all that. Now mm -hmm. they have started uh, uh, analyzing the data. And now uh, we have started the second round, uh, or I call it as a mid uh, 
project report where our teachers started working on the strategies that are to be used based on the data they have collected so far mm -hmm. that's uh, great now for uh, uh, mid project report has uh, been started uh, five, six days ago and two teams have already presented now mm -hmm. it is a third team uh, that is uh, led by me mr venkateshwar rao and my super mentor is uh, lakshman bangara uh, today our team uh, two members of our team mr sham sundar reddy and uh, salim pasha both of them are going to uh, give presentation mm -hmm. today uh, now shall we start uh, mr uh, sampath yes yes start yeah okay now uh, now may invite mr shamsundar reddy uh, to give his presentation mid project report presentation and uh, i request madam to witness thank you very much for this introduction hi everyone especially sudden ma'am uh, you. Uh, you are uh, most welcome to our uh, uh, dais this is a great uh, moment for us Thank and you. very good evening everyone uh, i'm very uh, very much uh, happy to hear to present over here and uh, before you uh, about a little project on uh, action research uh, is going on the mid project presentation i am very uh, very much happy and enthusiastic is enthusiastic uh, to present uh, before you ma'am Okay, may I? Uh, my start. Yeah. Is it visible? Yeah. It's visible. Yeah. Hi everyone, once again. <clears throat> sorry uh, exploratory action research teacher a ray of hope simply the teacher can show uh, the way of life and the uh, root of life uh, this is me b sham sundar reddy teacher research school assistant jdhs chalwai molu district my mentor T Venkateshwar Rao sir, who is a well-known person to all of us uh, English fraternity, as well as uh, our super mentor is uh, Lakshman Vangra. He is also well-known person uh, for our uh, English fraternity, and uh, so much, so many of uh, supporters. I could uh, present this project today. I took uh, a topic of uh, speaking. How to? enhance the english speaking skills among the regional medium students why uh, what is the reason to take this one is the speaking is very vital role than all the communication skills it is uh, my belief because if you could speak or communicate something you uh, you can simply identify and recognize whatever the work you want to do you can simply go to enhance their speaking skills just i took this project and i'm working in this and it is very uh, support you from all of you that is uh, very happy to me and research is going on research is a, a, a long process and a continuous process research creating new knowledge said by neil armstrong so we are doing something means we know something but after doing research we can get more knowledge that's my intention Uh, to get the more knowledge introduction of uh, this project to mr uh, b sham sundar reddy it's me have been teaching in a regional medium high school in a remote village where exposure to english is very little so a student speaking ability in english is very poor they hesitate much to respond even for a minute time not only the students but also the teachers also get hesitation because we are not having the environmental condition that climatic condition of complete english so that 
that everybody will get. So we have to overcome that. How to overcome? To overcome, and uh, this is the problem, background of this problem is despite a uh, lot of efforts, I could not make my students speak well, not only me, but also most of the teachers are saying this one. Most of the teachers are also getting this problem. I wish to understand why the existing teaching practices in speaking skills are not able to bring out desirable results. This is the uh, practices uh, is very good, but some, uh, fun, some uh, little difficulties are there. What are the difficult, what are the laggings we have to find out? This is the reason which led me to part of this classroom based action research project. My research questions are how to inculcate English speaking habit among the students of our school. What are the difficulties that students are facing while speaking or discussing? What are the strategies to develop their speaking ability in English? Am I audible, sir? Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Clear, clear. My explanatory questions are, what are the perceptions of my colleagues in inculcating English speaking habit among our students? What are the strategies should I adapt to reduce phobia of speaking in English? Which strategies should I adapt to enhance speaking English speaking habit of my students? And uh, tools I took data for data collection, audio recording of Google Meet. When the Google class is going on, at that time the transaction will go uh, will go on. So at that time I took some audio recordings. The classroom audio transaction was recorded and questionnaire. Students' opinions were collected using open and closed ended questions through questionnaire. Google form made a Google form for questionnaire. And uh, also informal interview with students. In an informal talk, students individually expressed their opinions on their inability to speak the text. The same were recorded in an answer sheet. And a critical review of a colleague. In our school, uh, we have collectively uh, took some decisions. A colleague observed my class and observed students' responses and gave a review also. This is the way we also observed the students, how they are getting uh, speaking skills and how they are learning through the KN. Students watching speaking videos on KN while one of the students act as a writer. So simply, if they get a free time, they use this one. This KN is a beautiful, um, uh, that is a teaching aid for me. It is really a great because of it is, uh, it, it has an interactive board also. With that, uh, a tremendous work, we can do that. And here, uh, while observing, students were given freedom to speak and errors are celebrated while they are communicating. Students are advised to observe while others speak. At the time of uh, watching the videos of listening and uh, uh, they are uh, suggested and advised to observe them and questionnaire to students. These are the evidences. The uh, questionnaire have been prepared and sent to the uh, given to the students and they, uh, they, they reflected and they uh, already written that the answers. These are the responses of the students in the paper and Google, Google form also made and sent to the students. 12 students responded for that and they expressed their views also. And uh, responses of teachers, the questions how uh, sent to the teachers also, and they also sent their answers. They reflected very well, and uh, it has analyzed and uh, make very good analysis. Uh, data also uh, very nicely presented here. These are the uh, students' reflections on that uh, questions which we have given. Do you like to speak in English? Why? The, student, the students' responses. The children like to speak English. It is very comfortable, attractive, and advanced. World's dominating and international. They know about that language, why they wanted to speak, why they wanted to get communicate with English. So 95% of the students uh, said positively, and 5% are not interested in English. Do you understand when someone speak, speaks in English? Students' responses, everybody, all the students says that they would understand English. And third one, have you ever tried to speak in English? How did you feel then? All the children tried to speak and they felt happy and shy. 
they got confused if the grammar was correct they are confusing they are getting little bit uh, fear of grammar they have to know that the grammar is not necessary to speak as our mother tongue is going on without any grammar that is our uh, motto also do you do your non language teachers teach in english that was the question yes non language teachers are teaching in english and sometimes use telugu because the non language teachers uh, said that the difficult concepts and difficult uh, terminology may be given in the text that's the reason they are also translating it into mother tongue and fifth one have you got any opportunities to speak in english did you speak then the children said they got many opportunities to speak in english some of them could not speak with some uh, could speak with some mistakes and could not uh, speak with the uh, properly and the sixth one what do you think are the reasons for your inability to speak in english many of the children are not having confidence in them as they are not aware of grammar so simply we can understand that the grammar is uh, uh, giving more fear to the students so we have to uh, overcome that fear of grammar and everything because we have to give Uh, so much of uh, enhancement to communicate uh, without the grammar what kind of help do you need from your teachers to enhance your english speaking ability this is the question of seventh and the children are needed to fun type of teaching they are eagerly waiting for the fun type of uh, teaching if we give any uh, game like and uh, amusement like they are very happy and they needed 30 days uh, camp only on speaking they asked me so especially for spoken we need uh, a special camp also the usage of grammar in different areas and a deep conceptual understanding in english they asked me to little bit of grammar conceptual uh, is needed that will increase the confidence of the students they said and here spoken strategies we have to understand the student so we have to get all the aware of that the case study is needed to understand the student and gamification how the student is very active how can we bring that student into proactive from activeness and uh, we also can get uh, 30 days a special camp by collective uh, decision in the school the collaboration collaboration means all the parents and the teachers the students everybody who are supporting to their enhancement and the development uh, we have to take a decision for collaboratively in the school they asked me to be in that way and group work also very essential for uh, a spoken strategy and uh, here speaking is as simple as the ring how the ring is there the teacher is essential and the teacher has to create need of language and the interest he has to create among the students and the exposure he has to make uh, availability to the students and the vocabulary he has to bring and he has to increase he has to uh create uh, how to develop so to do this all the collaborative uh decision is needed and uh, the opportunities are needed so simply we can get the uh, that is spoken skills among the students and here you see by taking this all the uh, plan uh, we have to uh, take a action and the analysis after that action we have to anal analyze how the action is going on is it good or bad in what way it is going and the corrections we needed uh, to uh, correct it. and the reaction and analysis also once again we have to get it is is going in the proper way or not and what are the difficulties we are getting and what uh, how we are getting behind and the conclusions we have to get then we can simply uh, get the action research consequences that this action research definitely we can get the results from the students and spoke, uh, spoken and here uh, the teacher reflections also were taken and the data analysis of the teachers these are the questions given to the teachers what are the causes for most of the students attending government schools unable to speak in english fluently so teachers responded in this way lack of practice exposure vocabulary proper guidance confidence and fear of making mistakes while speaking english shyness and pronunciation problem it, it is really uh, 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 happy to see uh, how difficulties are found out by the teachers yes we have to overcome how to overcome this type of uh, um, uh, difficulties we can now uh, uh, take a plan and uh, get into the attack 
and domination of native language it is a difficult really a major difficult most of the children are from uneducated families and the mother tongue always dominate because it is a familiar with this and also we can get amusement and happiness and sweetness with the mother tongue that's the reason it is very difficult to escape a problem what are the parents barriers in making them speak in english fear and lack of practice the fear is most uh, uh, dreadful uh, thing here and less individual attention and inhibition shyness language phobia choice of wrong words so they are unable to get the vocabulary more and they are not getting proper vocabulary in a particular way so that they are not getting a choice of uh, words in proper the fear that uh, someone makes fun of them at the speaking if they go wrong anything you see simply the teachers also making uh, at this time i am also making some mistakes but i don't care about them we have to neglect that because the pronunciation is not important and uh, the uh, mistakes are not important the communication how we are getting and how we are making uh, that uh, our friends are our team to get enhance or to get the matter the problem in framing sentences is also getting um, uh, much problem with the students and the students are facing their social stigma and they are reserved to speak among a crowd so many are there i think this in the same manner and especially colleagues even uh, nowadays we also get some type of uh, difficulty uh, that is uh, speaking in colleagues also they may not, may not uh, give Uh, uh that is uh, encouragement and sometimes they also can discourage that type of uh, phobia that type of thought also uh, takes the uh, children back an insufficient knowledge of syntax and students are not exposed to english properly students are more comfortable in native language as we said earlier therefore prefer speaking mother tongue rather than english and what are the strategies that can be adapted to address struggling speakers So here the uh, reflections of the teacher ask them to practice reading newspapers make them speak small english words and sentences encourage reading books participating in language developing activities giving freedom to speak anything if it is wrong or right make them aware of language rules refer the dictionary properly this is very important the dictionary only can give us more vocabulary because simply uh, uh, friends just you also one for one word we may have one page two page three page four page five six this uh, pages of uh, information will be given why why that type of uh, word has uh, um, given that much that much of matter means so many ways we can use uh, so if we go through the dictionary properly we can get more vocabulary what are the strategies that can be adapted to address struggling speakers listening and watching english news and movies talk to them in really to the level of difficulty conduct regular debates as speeches all place make them understand that it is natural to make mistakes while learning this is the reflection of a third question do you transact in english why why not some teachers responded in this way some teachers are speaking now and then some teachers are using both languages according to the situation and standard and most of the teachers transact in english to make them familiar with the english and this is the issues pyramid what are the issues identified by the teachers in that uh, in that question uh, shyness lack of interest mother tongue lack of vocabulary lack of exposure need of language grammar they are not identifying the need of the language and conclusion here in the question of that teachers we should use both the languages according to the situation and standard most of the time we must transact english to the uh, to make them familiar with the english and if you want to ask questions would you ask in english or telugu give reasons teachers are asking questions both in english and telugu some teacher asks only english supporting them to telugu some teachers are asking slowly and repeatedly till they understand and guess the answer if the questions are too hard supply them some clues again through english so that they can get interest and get enhancement this is the strategy uh some teachers are uh, may, uh, using sometimes they make gestures to extract the answer making gestures it is action oriented class the activity oriented class and sometimes teachers compel the students to answer in telugu that was the 
uh, uh, reflections. Most of the teachers think that the language learning takes place through the subconscious mind. We have to make that a strategy to get the aware of uh, language in a subconscious way. That is one good thing. So we have to achieve this by providing as many situations as possible to the students. Speaking and writing in English is the best way to learn language. And sixth one and last question. When you ask questions in English, in which language do your students respond? For this question, I got mixed answers. Most of the students feel comfortable answering in their native language. Some teachers are making the students reply in English, even if they may, if uh, there may be mistakes. See here, what is going on means they are understanding the language. They are understanding the uh, listen by listening. They could understand, but they are unable to reflect to that. And the qualitative analysis of data here. With this questionnaire, it became an evident that by all the questionnaire for the students and teachers, we could get this type of aware. All the students enjoy speaking in English. They love to tell some easy stories. There is predominant fear in speaking English. The factors hindering them from speaking are too little vocabulary, unaware of different word usage, inability to guess the pronunciation of words, inability to remind words in long sentences, fear of speaking complex sentences. And a teacher's perspective, unable to remind suitable words in a proper time, unable to pronounce properly the words, too many confusing words found in the usage, no English atmosphere outside the class, no purpose to learn the language, no other source of speaking material except the teacher. These are the major issues identified by that. No proper drilling with the speaking tools, no proper activities to get them motivated, not properly engaged in speaking activities, unable to refer the dictionary properly. These are all issues with the students and some of the strategies. These are the final strategies. Make friendship with the children to avoid the fear of teacher. Read English newspaper daily to know new vocabulary. Make it a rule that you will spend at least some time speaking in English in your school. Correct each other explaining new words or discussion. A rupee fine penalty for not speaking in English apply, applies. Read aloud especially for, from newspapers in the prayer time watch English language movies, find internet sites that have vocabulary, grammar, and speaking resources. These all we know, especially we are not concentrating more. We know well, but we are not implementing and we are not getting uh, overcome these issues. And here by discussing, simply we can remind and recollect and we can overcome and we can create interest among the children this is the way i could understand by this project uh, some of the difficulties with me and uh, some of the activities and some of the easy gamification activities could not uh, uh, celebrate in school so that the children are getting not getting proper interest and proper communication in this so that i can uh, after this completion of this project i can um, definitely uh, use this one and uh, i can definitely uh, success uh, in the spoken uh, skills development and enhancing in among my children and uh, thank you for your patience and uh, thank you for your listening to me thanks a lot uh, over to venkateshwar rao sir please uh, i'm uh, um, most welcome all of you to give any suggestions and uh, corrections uh, in my presentation thank you uh, sudden ma'am thank you thanks a lot for listening to me thanks uh, thank you one and all thank you very much yeah. Yeah, Siam. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Siam Sonder, if I'm mistaken in pronouncing your name. Nice Thank you. picture. Thank you. Thank you. You're right. Really, uh, you pronounced the right. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, shall I speak first? I mean, how my yeah, ideas... One more, one more present. Okay, yeah. One more presenter is there, man. If possible, you wait for the, uh, uh, could you spend some more time for another uh, presenter? The other presenter? The yeah. One more presentation is there, ma'am. After that, uh, can you give? Okay. All right. Yeah, thank you. All right. So please invite the uh, next presenter. Uh, yeah, thank you. Ma. Mr. Uh, now I invite uh, uh, Salim Pasha of JPHS uh, Zermaram to give his uh, presentation. Sir, are you ready? 
Yes, sir. Sir, uh, it's over to you. Uh, you can start your presentation. Good evening to all. This is MD Salim Pasha. Good evening, Sadan Madam. Good evening. I really feel very happy to for your presence here, and uh, I uh, I would like to thank thanks uh, uh, thank the entire entire Elta team for uh, making me present this, and uh, uh, I especially thank TV Rausa, uh, my mentor and uh, one, uh, one, uh, Lakshman sir, uh, uh, my super mentor for uh, making me present, allow me, allowing me to present my exploratory action with a midterm project presentation. So here, I'm MB Salim Pasha from, uh, I'm school student in the JPHSR Maram working uh, in Varangal Rural District. So this is what I have uh, done till now. Well, the, my project, uh, the background of my pro, my uh, action research program is that basically I am I teach in English in regional regional mediums high school where there is no exposure of English language. Hence, my students' reading and comprehension ability is very weak. They often don't follow the text and find difficulty in understanding the text properly. In spite of many efforts, I could not make my students understand the text in English independently. Many times I was forced to use mother tongue to make my students understand the given English text. So that was a very uh, uh, disgusting thing for me. I really don't like to use mother tongue, but I was forcefully you. Uh, forcefully used because my students sometimes find very difficult. So I want I want a solution there. That's so uh, from the beginning of my career, I was searching for uh, a solution for this uh, issue. So, but my wish is to make my student an independent learner or autonomous learner. Make my student an autonomous autonomous learner. After. So this is the reason that led me to the part of this exploratory action research project. So then, and uh, then my research qu question is, why are my students unable to comprehend English text? So this is what the, my, my uh, exploratory action research question. So objectives of my questions are to find out difficulties that my students are facing while comprehending text in English, identify the strategies to improve their comprehension ability. Then exploratory questions are, what are the issues in understanding what was right? What my colleagues and students think about this issue? These are the two exploratory questions. Then uh, tools and data collection, which I have made uh, and the questionnaire, I have collected there are some I have prepared some questions and and supplied to the students in, through Google through WhatsApp, which were made.
English text. So I uh, critical review of my colleagues. I discussed with my colleagues also what do they actually think. I share their knowledge and ideal ideology regarding the comprehension abilities to be enhanced among my students. What actually they do think about the comprehension ability? If they are facing the same problem or not? If they are facing, what do they think? I want to. Uh, that's that that I want to know from them, and I I. Uh, I shared their, I, I, they shared my uh, experience with me. Some of them are very senior and very uh, 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 scholars in this area. I have taken their opinion as well. So students' questions are also being made uh, in this regard to know whether, what do students especially feel about this problem. Uh, for that, I have prepared five questions. That uh, first one is, what kind of text do you understand easily? And then, what kind of text do you enjoy most? Do you face difficulty in comprehending the text? And also, what is the main factor that makes comprehension difficult or hinders you in uh, comprehension? How uh, can we overcome this problem? I, I had also asked them, what do they feel? How can they overcome this problem? So I have got some responses from the student. So these are my, the, the rest, some of the responses from the students, which I have got for, for the first question, what type of text do you understand? I mostly the students, I have given some close ended, uh, I have given a close ended question here. Uh, I have given some options, stories, interviews, reports, uh, biographies, and poems. So most of the students uh, gave, gave that, uh, said that they enjoy, they understand easily uh, stories. And then uh, uh, some students say that they understand interviews. So they have uh, some, some, only some few students said that they, are, they can easily understand the biographies. Then uh, the second question was that, uh, do you face difficulty in understanding the English text independently? So here I have got the, uh, the mixed or some uh, mixed responses from my students. Uh, most of my students uh, are from uh, semi-urban area. Semi, our, our school is located in semi-urban area. So some of my students are well, well, uh, they are uh, uh, good at English. They, they can um, understand simple sentences, but whereas where we, when we come to some complex type of sentences, uh, phrase, some uh, phrases, they could not understand, they could not catch uh, those type of uh, uh, difficult areas. So my students has given that they can understand the simple type of text easily. So then responses of the students here, uh, what is the main factor here? The different opinions were given by the student, like they find difficult uh, in uh, understanding and speak understanding English grammar as uh, uh, they, uh, they find difficult uh, in speaking and uh, pronunciation. So they, they have given different kind of uh, reason, reasons here. Then how can you, how can you overcome this problem? I asked them, uh, problem of comprehension. So I have given a closed end question, closed end question which, I have, which I followed uh, earlier in my class teaching transaction. So those techniques were whether they are useful in comprehending the text or not. I want to know those particular strategies, whether they are going to be useful or not. So here I have given those strategies which I have already used. So for my uh, strategies like mind map, mind mapping, note making, and uh, translating the text into your mother tongue, and pictorial descriptions. So these are some of the strategies which I uh, often follow in my classroom. 
so most of the students have given that said that mind mapping and uh, translating the text into telugu oh, they enjoy a lot and some some students has said that pictorial descriptions that can also be very useful then teachers question i have collected some uh, i have prepared some questions for teachers as well uh, to know their uh, Answer uh, their ideology uh, regarding this problem. Do you do you Poorly. So then uh, name the strategies that are useful to enhance your students' comprehension abilities. Then I have got some the responses from my some of my teach, uh, some of the teacher friends. Uh, then for the first of all, uh, for, the, for the first question, do you face difficulty in comprehending the text? So they move, uh, I got 100% uh, uh, yes answer from my teacher friends. Then uh, um, I have got this other, uh, different re responses regarding to question number two. That is, uh, the what factors do you think that the hinders them in comprehending the English text? So here they said that uh, maybe because of uh, uh, regional language influence, lack of language awareness, like phrases, idiom phrase. Uh, phrasal verbs and uh, lack of vocabulary. These are the things uh, that uh, may hinder them in uh, comprehending the English text properly. And uh, one teacher has given that uh, uh, opinion that difficulty in decoding, grasping and connecting the, between the sounds and the letters. They can't uh, recognize the words and the sounds. they don't have strong vocabulary. They don't have uh, knowledge of some sentence structure and co cohesion. They don't have working memory and attention. So this is these are the some of, uh, some teachers' opinion. And then uh, how do you engage the students to comprehend the text? Uh, so they said that as uh, uh, my co-researchers, uh, researcher Sam Sundar sir has already told that um, uh, making them read the newspaper daily. Um, and making them uh, read the storybooks and use the dictionaries. Uh, this will help them uh, to develop uh, these uh, comprehending abilities. Uh, so, so some uh, one teacher says that uh, it, we should take we should take some remedial class for them. So then uh, fourth question: How do you motivate your student to read the text independently? This is what is uh, I feel personally is the most important thing for uh, our teachers of English in India, uh, because the motivation is very important uh, as they lack the uh, atmosphere of English outside the school, outside the class. So there, uh, some teachers have given that, uh, encourage the student to read their interested areas and explain the class. And uh, I am doing that, yes, uh, as, uh, uh, this one uh, given by some my friend. Uh, uh, I, I I am following this one. I ask my student usually to come up on and to the dais every day morning uh, before I start my class and ask them to read, ask them to speak about their interest of uh, in English. So if if they if they like the cricket, uh, I ask them to la I ask them to speak about cricket, the match they have seen yesterday. So uh, I find uh, some of them, I find I, I uh, here, I uh, personally uh, talk with them of their interest, whether what was their interest. Some, some people, uh, some students are very busy, always busy in talking about cricket, IPL matches, 
uh, some students are busy in uh, talking about the jobs uh, some students are talking about some girls are talking about visiting the different uh, temples of different areas i would uh, come i would uh, call them and uh, ask them to speak about that so this is the strategy that i have already doing but uh, i need to do a lot the name the strategies that are useful to enhance our students comprehending abilities so here i have got some responses as i have already told that newspaper reading can uh, enhance their uh, ability and storytelling reading proper storytelling and reading properly that is uh, these are the two uh, some of the phon phonemic awareness to be in inculcated a word recognition uh, salam sir excuse me i think uh, there is uh, some uh, instability of your uh, uh, mobile data or uh, whatever the data you are using yeah, is, is, it audible, is, is, is it not audible sir uh, sometimes it is uh, breaking okay it's okay continue yeah 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 okay okay sir. yeah so teaching vocabulary through everyday experience and vast reading should be taken sentence structures and cohesion to be taught working memory attention to be included inculcated these are some of the suggestions i have got from the teachers so from these all uh, suggestions and responses my i have find uh, some these five strategies uh, that are very useful and uh, i would like to uh, adopt these strategy strategies before uh, uh, i could i would i would go into the action part uh, but i find uh, first of all i have found find that uh, uh, students lack vocabulary from the students uh, uh, response and also from the uh, teachers response i, I come to know that student lack of vocabulary and not aware of sentence structure this is the most important uh, that uh, they uh, usually compare the uh, regional uh, language structure with uh, uh, the english structure both are very different so and the pronunciation problem is also there decoding the text cohesion and coherence problem is also there so then challenges in collecting the data so i have faced challenge many challenges uh, in explore in this action research program uh, especially because of this pandemic uh, situation students are not available we are unable to uh, interact with them face to face so that is the big uh, challenge for us and a lack of technical knowledge both for the students as well as the teachers and uh, that uh, makes uh, us uh, uh, some um, difficulty uh, in collecting the data common teachers do not respond to my uh, research question that is another one so from all this all this uh, finally i came to uh, one conclusion that these are the strategies going to be very helpful to me now uh, that's why i decided to adopt these strategies in my classroom actively uh, in every day uh, i want to make it every day process uh, in my classroom transaction so those are the brainstorming activities mind maps note making or note taking process and graphic organizers these these will definitely help my students in uh, uh, comprehension comprehending the text i strongly feel that this will definitely help me to uh, overcome this uh, comprehension ability, uh, inability of my students and uh, uh, in action in action part this is up this is what we have uh explored we are just now exploring but when we go to the action action part and uh, i am very sure that these four strategies which i have chosen i am going to 
implement in my classroom with this i am very confident that i am going to i am going to uh, uh, resolve my problem or issue and with this i would like to thank entire fraternity of elta uh, and uh, sudden madam for giving this uh, wonderful opportunity and i would like to know uh, the feedback from you, all of you thank you thank you so much for your patient listening thank you uh, salim pasha sir uh, for uh, for your presentation of uh, uh, pro your project report and uh, you have tried well to present your strategies and uh, data analysis and everything now uh, uh, i request uh, madam sidang uh, to give her reflection and uh, uh, what are the strategies that you follow in your uh, area also you may please uh, share with us and what are your uh, project levels and everything okay thank you so much um, dear mentees um, for your uh, nice presentations the super mentors for this uh, super mentoring process uh, for talking about the both presenters uh, I like the way you approach the problem. I like the way you explored the situation. I like the way you ask questions to the situations. You gathered your data uh, from the students, from the uh, colleague teachers. And um, I think you, you both also uh, reflected on your problem personally, because I, I really like uh, reflecting on my own uh, thoughts while uh, trying to explore uh, a situation I uh, encounter as challenging. Uh, if you haven't uh, personally reflected on your challenge, um, for example, uh, I try to empathize with the students. Uh, or I just reflect on my own studenthood, the time uh, when I was learning uh, English, because I'm also a, a, a foreign language learner. Uh, English is not our native tongue. So uh, more or less, we also have uh, experienced similar problems. Uh, not the same, but similar problems with our students. So I think personally, uh, we are uh, rich sources of uh, knowledge uh, as learners. I mean, uh, we are all uh, lifelong learners. We are also learning from our students. So um, I haven't um, heard if I missed, uh, excuse me, if uh, if you haven't, please reflect on your own teaching process. Uh, and um, just again, reflect on uh, the responses you have gathered from your colleagues and students. And if they uh, make sense to you somehow as a teacher, uh, why and how, then, I think, uh, and in my way of uh, thinking as a practitioner teacher and a teacher researcher, uh, while uh, planning for the action, just filter uh, the data uh, you have gathered and then start planning for your action. Um, that's my uh, humble uh, suggestion to both of the mentees. And as for personal uh, feedback or just reflection, let me say, um, again, very rich uh, data collected, very nice approach, congratulations. Um, I just uh, want to ask uh, again, uh, have you uh, questioned teachers, the teachers, um, for example, the, the first presentation, um, our mentee uh, is working on enhancing uh, students' speaking skills. And um, all the barriers uh, were considered to be sourced uh, by the students or the context. Uh, 
um, can, for example, teachers themselves be sort of barriers uh, for students uh, speaking in front of the audience. I think if um, this aspect could also be uh, worked on, for example, teachers, if teachers can question themselves, if maybe, for example, they are sort of behaving anxiety provoking way, or the, the students are just shy uh, because of uh, the, the teachers and the teachers uh, approach towards uh, error correction. I, I, I just really want to hear uh, from uh, our colleague, uh, Shyam Sander. Uh, am I uh, mistaken or I just want to hear from him? Would you like to answer it, Shyam Sander? Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah. Uh, Shyam Sundar, Shyam. Shyam Sundar, I'm so yeah. sorry. Shyam Sundar, yeah, yeah. I have taken just Shyam Sundar. Okay, just forgive okay. me. All yeah. right, um, have you considered uh, yeah. yourself as a barrier or have, yes, have other yeah. teachers considered themselves as barrier to sp uh, students speaking in front of uh, the class or uh, uh, have you considered your uh, feedback strategies, error co correction uh, stra uh, strategies as a barrier to students speaking skills? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I would uh, uh, hesitate. I would hesitate before uh, coming to this action research and uh, the collaborative learning uh, from my uh, teacher fraternity. In those days, uh, earlier I would get this type of situation. As uh, many of teachers also getting this type of situation, the barriers to speak uh, before all the uh, that is uh, uh, excellent fraternity, maybe officials, uh, maybe colleagues. Some may give encouragement to us uh, while speaking. They also collaborate with us. Uh, otherwise, uh, some may uh, give some uh, hesitant. I mean, they may bullying also. It may be not serious. The students also think in that way. Uh, maybe the dragging back will be the situation among the students. No. Yeah, exactly. So maybe including uh, some uh, teaching strategies to encourage your uh, students speak more confidently in your classroom uh, might be helpful in enhancing their speaking skills. This is just a suggestion. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for your suggestion. Yes, okay. I try and uh, definitely I'll get that result. That the consequences, okay. will, uh, consequences will be always positive by this program. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, as for uh, Salim, may I go on with uh, Salim's? Yes, yes, ma'am. All right. OK, Salim, uh, your, your study is about uh, enhancing students' comprehension, reading comprehension skills. And uh, you have, again, uh, um, have a, a rich source of data uh, collected uh, from the teacher colleagues uh, and students. And uh, I'm asking the same question to you. Have you filtered uh, those uh, data, uh, source of data uh, from your own filter as a teacher? Have you reflected on uh, your findings? Uh, uh, I mean, it's always helpful. It has always been helpful to me. Uh, uh, my own field notes, my own uh, re research reflections. And in the end, it's your own classroom. It's your own classroom-based strategy. And your uh, action plan uh, is specific to your own research context. And uh, it will be beneficial for your own students. Uh, I was uh, just curious about uh, students' uh, phonemic awareness. Uh, uh, the data you have uh, gathered from the teachers uh, highlighted that. Uh, I mean, it's, re it's about enhancing reading comprehension. And um, I don't know how uh, uh, helping the, the students to increase their 
uh, phonemic awareness will help them improve their uh, reading comprehension skills. And uh, for example, again, pronunciation, you know, um, when we put more uh, barriers in front of the students, uh, then it becomes more challenging. For example, it's very, re really very natural uh, for our students to face pronunciation problems. But uh, now your concern is with students' uh, reading and comprehension and skills. So if I were you, I would forget about students' pronunciation or phonemic awareness or, uh, for example, making grammar mistakes or such. I would just focus on how to help them uh, increase their uh, uh, reading comprehension skills. Uh, and in that, you you have you said you have planned to use brainstorming activities, mind maps, note making, note taking, and graphic organizers. In my experience, uh, brainstorming activities before starting reading uh, or just providing some mind maps or graphic organizers uh, accompanying the reading text are really helpful. Uh, how about note making, note taking? How, uh, how you, have you planned to make use of note making, note taking uh, to help your students increase uh, their uh, reading skills? Uh, ma'am, uh, thank you for your feedback, ma'am, first of all. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, the note making and note making process means uh, here I want to uh, um, elicit my way of uh, 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 concept here uh, while reading the text I would like to uh, always uh, like to make my student to uh, underline the key points key words of the uh, sentence every sentence at least they could understand this uh, key word of a sentence they can understand uh, they can catch the meaning of the sentence so I uh, make my student read the text uh, on their own first and underline the and uh, find, uh, note down the uh, keywords of a, each and every sentence uh, so that they can catch the meaning of the sentence. So that is what I, uh, I would like to um, uh, say regarding this note making and note taking process. Mm -hmm. It sounds like uh, uh, you aim for uh, some sort of reading strategy training. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Other than note taking or note making, uh, I, I mean, I haven't, uh, maybe somehow I have practiced uh, using this strategy myself, but you can also try other reading strategies to increase uh, their um, reading ability, uh, comprehensibility of what they, they are reading, sort of. Maybe you can have a look at different reading strategies to make their lives easier. Uh, that can be my suggestion uh, because in this way, for example, let's say you, you are planning to uh, implement this action uh, for, for example, let's say eight weeks, uh, this kind of note making, note taking, uh, other than training, uh, takes a lot of time. It's, uh, I mean, it seems a bit time consuming to me. Maybe you can organize your sessions like this is a training. Okay, now let's focus more on reading comprehension. You see, you can give them uh, some time on their own to practice the strategy you teach to them, and then you can you know, uh, get some feedback about how it worked with them, sort of, and gather data about your action plan. Okay, man. Thank I you, thank you. It, I will definitely look at it. Okay, I, I, I don't know if it makes sense or if it works in your context. But it's, again, all you. It's your own classroom, and you know your, your students very well. Uh, how... Uh, will be helpful uh, to them in the most beneficial way. Uh, it's kind of uh, 
a mutual understanding between you and your students, and uh, you are uh, the person who will know it the best. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, amazing studies, both of them. Uh, I uh, congratulate uh, you uh, too, uh, and your super mentors. Uh, and thank you. That's all from me. I talked a lot. I'm aware. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. So, uh, so uh, we feel happy to have you in this session and reflecting on these things. O2, dear yeah. sir, please ask uh, your super mentor to, uh, I request Lakshman sir to reflect on it and uh, dear sir. Thank you. Hello. Uh, ah, okay, Lakshman sir, uh, it's over to you. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, first of all, I congratulate Mr. Sham Sundar Reddy and uh, Mr. Salim Pasha uh, on giving their wonderful presentation uh, regarding their uh, uh, action research project. And uh, uh, I especially I thank uh, uh, Ms. Sedan uh, for giving her detailed feedback on the two presentations. So what she raised the points were absolutely right. And uh, we will uh, discuss with my teacher training. I'm a teacher, sorry, I'm a teacher researcher. And uh, we will certainly uh, rethink uh, the uh, strategies and we will try to address the, uh, we will try to address the strategies uh, and uh, we will try to uh, bring in the suitable strategies for uh, may uh, address the uh, classroom issues. Uh, thank you, Sid and Madam. Uh, thank thank you. you all. Yeah. Uh, and uh, one thing, it was very interesting that there should be one question um, in questionnaire uh, regarding the class and uh, subject teachers um, a practitioner, what you have mentioned. So how mm -hmm. the teacher has to reflect first. Teacher has mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. the feedback from the students about his practice is an existing mm. practice. So uh, we will certainly uh, incorporate such kind of question in a questionnaire and in the next uh, project, we will certainly get the feedback from the existing practices of teachers so that he can strengthen his uh, teaching strategy. There's a wonderful That's suggestion. Great. That's a wonderful you. suggestion. We will certainly incorporate in our future project. Uh, we will see that there should be one question about the teachers existing practices because uh, action research is intended to uh, find the solutions uh, um, contextual uh, specific so mm -hmm. we cannot generalize the uh, the findings so our findings our studies may not be suitable for even the other class so uh, mm -hmm. we will certainly look into that matter thanks uh, for having you uh, and thanks for taking your precious time out to uh, attend this program. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. My and, pleasure. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sampath, Sampath and Vinaydar Raju. Thank you, Mr. Vinaydar Raju and uh, um, Mr. T. Venkishwar Rao and regarding. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Lakshman. Over to Tiro, sir. Uh, Lakshman, sir, thank you very much for the feedback. Uh, and uh, 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 we must be very thankful to uh, Madam Sidon uh, for giving us uh, valuable suggestions. Um, Thank you. Madam, uh, yeah. uh, as Lakshman said, uh, it changes from uh, teacher to teacher and area to area, even class to class. The situations will be changing and the uh, practices that uh, we are planning to adapt according to the level of the student and even uh, certain times uh, even individual level also we have to see and mm -hmm. uh, here the teachers are uh, exploring uh, their uh, problem and even strategies uh, the strategies what they have uh, decided to follow uh, sometimes may not be suitable and they work on they when they put into uh, action when they try out and uh, they find uh, some strategy that they thought may not work out. Then mm -hmm. they go for another strategy. Exactly. So it's a process of, it's, it's a process of learning. Uh, exactly. Even teacher, here uh, the, uh, the main aim of this project is 
the teacher has to change not the student so the teacher a strategist to be changed the uh, uh, it makes a teacher to change his attitude strategy way of thing, uh, teaching and everything should be changed in the process then only the real uh, spirit and aim of this project will be uh, fulfilled i uh, hope uh, every suggestion of what you have given is uh, really awful and uh, adaptable but uh, teachers would take uh, their uh, uh, levels and their uh, situations and adapt according to their uh, situations exactly uh, the, the 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 context is essential in exploratory action research and the teachers uh, way of thinking uh, or uh, the the strategies adopted so uh, i think reflection helps to move on uh, or dig deeper uh, pose a deeper understanding of the issue in in hand yeah thank you yeah you're right ma'am Thank you, Brahma. Thank you very much for uh, for sparing uh, uh, time with us and uh, giving us uh, valuable advices. Okay, thank you. It's my uh, definitely pleasure. Definitely, we'll follow in our future course of uh, action plan. All right, Sampat. Thank you very much for your invitation. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Uh, bye, ma'am. Bye. Bye. Thank you. So if, uh, it's it it it's nice to spend time with you and learning from you. Likewise, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thank you, thank you. Thank so you. Any reflections from our participants? Please uh, uh, send uh, our yeah. uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On, uh, Now I request our uh, uh, other mentors and uh, teacher researchers to reflect on uh, today's presentations. Ah. Uh, your every advice is taken in okay sir so you can send uh, to our uh, means whatsapp group also uh, you are uh, not now ready maybe it is 9 10 to 9 uh, if anybody one or two please reflect otherwise one or two one or two good evening venkatesh sir sir vinay sir yeah. sampath sir mentors uh, super mentors and uh, fellow teacher researchers uh, i am very sorry uh, to join the session very late uh, at the, at the, in the middle of salim pasha sir's presentation uh, but i am very happy very glad to say that we have the special guest for today's presentations uh, we are we are uh, fortunate enough to have such a chief guest, uh, special guest to give her feedback and reflections on your presentations so in fact uh, i i was I, i was unfortunate to uh, have such a feedback uh, by such a guest so you are lucky so salim pasha sir's uh, uh, presentation uh, seems to be colorful and effective presentation by choosing uh, different uh, those two parts two researchers selected chosen two different uh, skills uh, speaking skills and uh, reading skills uh, and uh, pasha sir's uh, presentation uh, made me think uh, so reading comprehension you have chosen different uh, tools sir for data collection for uh, reading comprehension so is it possible so uh, is it possible to give note making and note taking uh, at this level because as per, according to guest's words it takes a long time so is it possible to achieve these note making and note taking within this short time so if it is possible please respond to my question uh yeah sir good evening vishnu sir just Pasha, my, my intention is uh, to make my student identify the main keywords in a given sentence so that they can understand Hello. they can catch the meaning of the sentence at least by noting the uh, keywords of a sentence your voice is break sir broken yeah, voice yeah yeah uh, so uh, my intention Due is to, to some yeah yeah poor net connectivity maybe maybe sir sorry for that 
my intention is to make my students to note the, note down the keywords of every sentence so that they can catch the um, uh, meaning of the uh, underlying meaning of the sentence so that's why they i want to make my student to, to note down the some of the important points from the given uh, text uh, whatever they catch uh the new words are the kinds of the and the words they will have the they have understood uh, are the key words of a sentence the, that's enough and we can uh, elaborate that uh, that uh, uh, thing uh, with uh, with the students in the classroom so that's why i want to make my student to note down the key words of a sentence key words in the sense the new words keywords a uh, keywords means uh, in the sentence means the very, very important words of the sentence which uh, give some sense to the say, uh, sentence so you intended to give the meaning uh, as a sentence pattern rather yeah. than words yeah, yeah, yeah. word i am uh, as i am uh, dealing with the comprehension i am focusing on the meaning of the sentence so if they don't understand certain words i will uh, supply those uh, meaning of the words or the usage of the words uh, so that they can understand the sentence whole sentence together yeah rather than word by word meaning you are planning yeah. to give a whole sentence whole yeah. meaning for the sentence yes yes so it's a good idea sir because we call it's not possible for a teacher to give word by word meaning yeah it, it takes a lot of time and uh, board them also for the students yes. and they can't frame the sentences by learning word by word meaning yes, so it's better it's better to make them habituate yes, to sir. understand the to understand the text sentence wise as a whole not rather than fragments yes sir okay, uh, very good sir uh, vishnu sir i would like to add a point here the sense sir sir i would like to add a point here the sense of uh, his taking uh, note making or note taking is in every question uh, there uh, there is uh, one key word so uh, what i understand from him yes, sir, yes, sir. there is a key word so uh, he has to the student has to identify the key word the paragraph okay and he has to note down and uh, there are certain things uh, sometimes uh, uh, understanding the whole passage uh, which is a lengthy one uh, is a difficult uh, to the student and uh, you cannot uh, remember everything so important points so you, you want you might be uh, thinking that important points maybe he may note down uh, basing on the keywords okay and for, so that he will get a comprehension of that passage that is the idea yes whether yes, it works out or not uh, whether he works out or not that he will understand in the process of uh, his uh, action plan yes cc cc also there is, there is, there is, there is, uh, there is no uh, hard and fast rule this should be used then this should not be used yes okay. cc also uh, cc method also suggesting to learn uh, learning should be uh, as a whole rather than fragments so salim sir salim pasha sir has chosen very good uh, so uh, may i intervene sir um, yeah yeah ma'am yeah so uh, very good evening to everyone ma'am ma'am good evening and, uh, good evening manila ma'am good evening uh, both uh, uh, the presenters today shamsundar sir and uh, pasha sir have taken very pertinent issues uh, uh, that is uh, regularly found among our students one is unable to speak and the next thing is unable to comprehend the text so uh, we, the two real uh, issues have been addressed Uh, for uh, action research and um, uh, since we have been discussing about how to get our children speaking for the past two days and this is the third day i just want to go to this part pasha sirs uh, pa pasha sir uh, i mean uh, vishnu sirs there's nothing about going in fragments or going as a whole the intention is suppose you have a passage let us suppose the passage is on success and in success uh, in the passage called success we usually come across words say determination uh, say perseverance um, 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 uh, um, uh, being uh, no like not postponing no uh, like a pro procrastination so these are uh, what contributes to success what does not contribute to uh, contribute to success suppose the passage is about that if the children can only take out the words like being punctual 
um, uh, 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 being regular, um, uh, then the meaning of the passage is got. So, Pasha, sir, not making the sense, it is not about the university students or the college students uh, taking uh, notes. It is not like that. Children in their own level, uh, let it be sixth or seventh or eighth or ninth, in their own capacities, they can just pick up uh, the words, the mere words like uh, determination or being punctual or being regular, that itself is going to connect to the passage. So that is his intention. Uh, Pasha, sir, am I right, sir? Absolutely, ma'am, absolutely. Uh, so, 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 that is, so that is enough for children to comprehend. And he is using that strategy. I appreciate the strategy, if, uh, uh, sir. You try it. And uh, if it does not work, no issues at all. We will once again start exploring. Thank you so All much. All the best. Do well, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Sam discussion. Sundar, sir, and Pai, sir. All the best you for your all. next and, uh, phase. I can uh, wind up the session. Yes. Thank you all. Thank you, uh, thank you all thank for uh, thank being with us today and giving your uh, feedback.